This is Chris Paul from the TJMS, running through the top stories in roughly 60 seconds with the Morning Minute. The Washington Nationals visited the White House yesterday, and while their World Series celebration continues, for many of us Nets fans, it ended. The oldest Nationals player, Ryan Zimmerman, thanked Donald Trump for keeping America safe and making America great. And his teammate, Kurt Suzuki, put on a mega hat while creepy Trump crept up and gave him a big hug from behind. What kind of sick orgy was this? Is it too much to ask for baseball players to stand up against racist? Racism and hatred and sexism and child separations like NBA teams do when they win a trophy? Washington Nationals, you may be champions, but you're no warriors. Smugglers are digging holes in Donald Trump's border wall. You know the wall Trump said we needed, the wall Trump claimed would keep drugs out of the country, and the wall Trump says was impenetrable. That wall. It's being breached by regular old hundred dollar power tools. So what's worth ten billion dollars and can't keep anyone out? Kardashian draws and Trump's wall. Yesterday in Oxon Hill, Maryland, a man was stabbed to death inside of a Popeye's after he cut into a long line of people waiting to get a chicken sandwich. Paramedics and police were called to the scene right after closing time because it was that busy up in there. Making Georgia, catch me and Huggy Lowdown Saturday night at the Douglas Theater. And all you folks in Charlotte, catch me and Huggy Lowdown Sunday night at the Comedy Zone. And this was the Morning, Morning Minute. Minute.